Uh, tonight, we're putting the spotlight on Don Samuels. He's making his second run against Democratic incumbent Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. And our chief political reporter, Tom Hauser, is here. Tom, you talked with Samuels today about this campaign. Yeah, Leah, Don Samuels almost pulled off a major upset just last year in his 2022 primary election battle against Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. He tells me he's getting an earlier start that he hopes will make up for the 2,500 votes he lost by last year. I'm Don Samuels. I'm running for Congress. Former Minneapolis City Council member and school board member Don Samuels lost a close primary race to incumbent Ilhan Omar in 2022. He's hoping to win this time by starting his campaign five months earlier. Well, we're starting in November instead of April, so we're doubling the campaign time. A lot of people thought I couldn't win, even friends. And although he came close, Samuels did not win. Congresswoman Omar held on by a 50 to 48 percent margin, or about 2,500 votes. Samuels says he thinks Omar will be even more vulnerable this year after controversial remarks about the war between Israel and Hamas, following other remarks about Israel in previous years. She is um, alienated and even frightened members of the Jewish community in our city and beyond, and people are uh, totally uh, concerned. And yet, despite your close race with her uh, in 2022, she has been reelected overwhelmingly a few times. Mm -hmm. uh, so clearly she has support in the district. She even had Jewish, strong Jewish support. She even had my support. I, vo I voted for her, and a lot of people I know, know voted for her, but she has eroded that trust. But Samuels insists he's not just running as an anti-Omar candidate. He wants to focus on issues that matter to people in the 5th District, like public safety and crime. I know how to get along with people across difference and disagreements. Uh, um, I, I know how to not turn my office into an opportunity for fame and fortune, uh, but to uh, go in there not to make a point, but to get the job done. Now, we hope to have Congresswoman Omar on at issue in the coming weeks. When Samuels announced his candidacy last weekend, Omar's campaign issued a statement pointing out her success in fighting for progressive values like protecting abortion rights and gun control. You can see the interview with Don Samuels this Sunday morning at 10 a.m. on At Issue. Leah. Tom Hauser reporting. Thank you.